Hello, my name is Jeebus, and welcome to Let's Play Bioshock Infinite. Now, I am super, super psyched about this game. Um, I'm actually recording this um, at quarter to one in the morning on release day. I've had it preloaded on Steam. I um, Honestly, I am such a huge fan of the Bioshock series, and I absolutely had to share with you guys just a full Let's Play of this game, completely blind. As I play it, you guys are gonna watch and enjoy as well. Well, hopefully enjoy as well. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Pressing any key. Um, now, a funny little anecdote. I actually already tried to do this recording, and um, well, it failed. So, uh, as you can see, there's a continue up there, but we will not be hitting continue. After all, we will be hitting new game. So we'll overwrite your most recent auto save. You sure you want to proceed? Yes. We're gonna choose the medium difficulty. You know, not too hard, not too easy. And let's play. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Ooh. The mind of the subject will desperately cr struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to transdimensional travel. Arlutens, 1889. 1942, the coast of Maine. Are you going 1912, to even. As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. Oh, We're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. These guys are so distinctively British. Like, I I am British. I am I am a very English man. But these guys, wow! All right. Well, He's let's let's get going. He will eventually. I suppose he does. Duh, insanely British. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Is that something we can agree on? Well, hey, you could talk to me. Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. At least they acknowledged me this time. Alright, we'll take a quick look around. We'll grab some coins. Silver eagles. They're called. Um, I don't know if that's meant to be dollars, or I, I don't know if our dearest American viewers have any idea of what the hell that is, but silver eagle. So we have a door here. Do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. We're not going to go in there right now. We're going to uh, take a quick look around. See what crap we can steal. After all, this is a video game. All this stuff is here for us. And uh, we're going in. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. And here. I shall wash my face. Good luck with that, pal. I already like Booker. <laughs> it's such a bad. <laughs> Let's just drink some whiskey. Loot the lighthouse. From Sodom shall I lead thee. Is anyone here? Hello? Try call someone? Oh, 
on up. Search the cabinet. It's good when I am dying. Well, this is depressing. Alright, I um, I do have to apologise. Unfortunately, I have quite a sore throat. And I'm having to drink cough medicine intermittently, so... If you can hear this, I do wholeheartedly apologise. <coughs> okay. Oh, Christ! Shit. Don't disappoint us. Alright, so whoever hired me does not fuck around. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Jesus Christ. I've got these bells here, but again, not quite yet. Quickly run around, basically rob the place of everything. And then the bells. Wait a minute, that card. So I have to ring the bells uh, like the card. I wonder what happens if I, if I don't do it right. Ah, nothing really. Okay. So one time on the scroll. Two times on the key. Two times on the sword. Sword. Okay, so that's closed up. Whoa! This... This is interesting. Red skies. Well, you know, red sky at night, shepherd's delight, so... I would just like to take this opportunity just to say how how much, given everything that I've seen of it so far, how excited I am for this game. Oh, and I really hope that uh, like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. I really hope that, that that I can really properly project that into this let's play because really I I just I I love you, Bioshock. Okay, so we've got this magic chair, uh, it's got the, what are they, uh, like torture chair handcuffs, so that'll be fun. Get on in. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. Ah. Well, Ascension. there goes my gun. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. As you can see, I've put on subtitles for um, everyone's One. enjoyment. Ascension. And away we go! Ah, uh, look at our reflection. Yep, we're terrified. Oh boy. Holla fucking Luya. Look at that. It's beautiful. So it, and it's it's so different from the other two Bioshock games. That's that's what I really love about it. It's it's not trying to carry on the story of Rapture. It's not trying to It's not even trying to give you the same feel. It's a completely completely new game completely amazing story still hopefully and of course provided they've not messed it up too much and given the gameplay videos that I've seen so far yeah 
why would he send his saviour unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserve not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Yeah, as I was saying, um, genuinely, from what I've seen of the gameplay, it's the same great Bioshock gameplay that we all know and love. And while I am going to miss the amazing drill of. Uh, of Bioshock 2 and the and the wrench of Bioshock 1. I'm looking forward to what what gimmick I'm given. Let's rob this magical sky church blind. The seed of the prophet. <laughs> All right. The welcome center. Let's take a look around. The lab future of our city. Search gift. Jesus. I'm a freaking robber. Nothing here. Anything over here? Search hat box and fiddle kit. Who puts money in that fiddle kit? Oh. Yeah, I just realized buskers. Rose petals kicking about. I assume this is where I want to go. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Got some delicious money. Treading all the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically just stealing church donations. I'm a bastard. Up the voxophone. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven. Oh, crap. Or as close as we'll see till judgment day. I just keep such questions to myself unless I want to get made. Well, we missed the whole latter half of that. Uh, let's see if we can listen to that again. Okay, so, yeah, I have no idea how to play that again. If I find out how, and you guys want to hear that again, um, then, you know, I'll, I'll put year, it all up. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit to sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. So we walked into a pretty screwed up little church religious meeting deal. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accept the three golden gifts of the founders, it is it someone new, someone from the Sodom below, newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our our founders and our lord I just need passage into the city <laughs> looking at me very lovingly brother the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism Will you oh they're be following me look at that look at that we'll accept some baptism hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. Good stuff. Whoa, dunking. <laughs> Dick. I don't know let me know first. Sisters, but this one doesn't look clean. Don't do it again. Seriously, all right? People need air. Oh, great. I died. I'm in hell. Who's there? 
Who's there? Ah, so I'm a gambling man. I'm a, I'm a cop. I guess I can't rob myself. Not gonna do it. Go away. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. This is terrifying. Oh, great. Fiery death. That's exactly what I wanted. I love fiery death. Oh, even more. <laughs> oh. I'm still alive. Is that Thomas Edison? No. Benjamin Franklin, even. How? How did I mistake him for Thomas Edison? To learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. All right, so. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Yeah. Ah, uh, realized I haven't yet actually explained the controls. Uh, WASD to move. CTRL or control to crouch and uh, shift to run. So kind of like every other PlayStation, not PlayStation PC game. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Oh, hey, tell you what, I'm gonna stab you, so that you will better appreciate not being stabbed. How does that sound, eh? What is <laughs> what is Columbia if not another arc for another time? What do you have to say? No. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. All A right. rebel against ignorance and tyranny. The seat of the prophet. The city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. Shall All sit right. the throne. So got a girl to find. And drown in flame the mountains of man. Welcome to Colombia. Alright. And uh, I think that's a pretty good place to cut it off for this episode. Um, honestly, first impressions of this game, absolutely amazing. And I look forward to finishing this with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I've been Lord Jeebus, and this has been Bioshock Infinite. See you in the next one.